Hello, I'm Christian Straley of BullFocusLaw.com, and I'm here to talk about what happens when you get one of these. You have a jury summons. You've been called in to do jury duty. First, of course, you want to read the card to figure out what date and time that you are required to appear. And then you want to get with your employer or your teacher or whoever with whatever you have going on that day and reschedule it. Typically, the day is going to be a Monday or the first day of the week. You might ask yourself, well, how did they find me? Well, in Florida, they search the database of the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles for driver's licenses or state-issued identifications. So that's how they got you. So when now that they got you and you're required to go, you want to read the card. You want to find out where to go. Uh, you want to give yourself extra time because they are going to summon or could summon several hundred people at one time. So what happens is that the week before the jury selection, typically, the lawyers and the judge will meet to determine uh, what of the perhaps dozens of trials are really ready to go and which have witness problems or whatever the case may be that just simply cannot go next week. And then those cases will be continued. So sometimes a jury pool may be cut in half just by the lawyers and the judge taking a moment the week before to make sure who's really ready to go. So what happens is when you look at this card, it has really good information like this one has where to park for free parking in some jurisdictions that require you to park. This one has a QR code, but very important also is your juror number. Your juror number is going to determine a lot of things. It's how they keep track of you in the courthouse system. And what will happen is that after this conference that the lawyers have, whether it's called a trial status conference, calendar call, docket sounding, or whatever else the judge calls it the day the lawyers get together to figure out who's really ready, uh, the clerk's office gets the information. And depending on how many cases are really truly set for the following Monday, the clerk of court will excuse jurors by juror number. So you're going to want to call the phone number listed, visit the website, or check out social media uh, to determine which juror numbers have been excused before you show up on Monday. You may have a free day on your hands. You may not know until Friday afternoon, but check uh, before you go. So there are ways to be uh, a excused uh, from uh, jury duty. Uh, first, of course, those people who are qualified uh, are uh, 18 years of old. They are citizens of the United States and they are residents of the county in which the trial is going to take place. Disqualified people are felons and those under um, who have an open prosecution. You're exempt from your jury summons if you have served within one year. If you're uh, law enforcement with uh, arrest powers, over the age of 70, active military or full-time student. Um, so you're going to want to have uh, to check the card to see how to report those if you want to exempt yourself from jury duty. When you're planning to arrive, do plan to arrive early and please uh, wear uh, at least business casual. Keep in mind that these rooms are kept very cold. They're kept colder than most people are used to. You should plan to be in the building the entire day. So you might want to bring something to read. However, no periodicals uh, are allowed. So you're, you can bring a book or something like that, but newspapers or magazines don't do that. Also, of course, no weapons, no firearms, no sharp objects, don't, no nail file, don't bring that in either. The other thing is it may be tempting, but please do not investigate any of the cases uh, that are set for jury on that week. There is a constitution that is supposed to protect us all and you're violating that if you investigate it and you're causing a mistrial, which means that we may have to do it over and nobody wants to pay for or do that again. So. What happens when you get there? You go through security, um, so it does take some time. Uh, they will tell you where to go. That some counties have a jury assembly room, which is a big room, uh, and in that room, the judge and the clerk of court will work to get through those people uh, who are attempting to be excused uh, for whatever reason. They will process the excusals right then and there because the lawyers and possibly another judge are waiting in another room for the people to come on up and get picked for jury. Once they process the excusals, uh, 
a certain number of people will be uh, taken into the courtroom or rooms uh, where the jury trial or trials are going to be uh, taking place and you will go through what is called the uh, voir dire or voir dire uh, process and you pronounce that differently depending on where you went uh, to law school. Just like any other court proceeding, the judges, the referee doesn't really know a whole lot about the facts of the case uh, until the people arrive there to tell the judge about it. But typically what happens is a judge has a uh, list or a form that has uh, questions predetermined that the jurors are going to be expected to answer. Sometimes the judge will have you just simply stand up and read the answers uh, to these questions. After the judge is done, then the party that brought the lawsuit gets to go. So in a criminal case, that would be the government. In a civil case, that would be the plaintiff. Then the defendant gets to go and ask questions. And after that, the members of the jury will be excused while the lawyers and the judge determine who uh, should be omitted from the jury uh, for cause and then uh, the end up with uh, a jury. Now, they're just looking for honest answers here. If there's anything that is embarrassing to you, you can ask to speak to the lawyers and the judge in private and they will typically honor that as best they can. It's important to also note that the jury selection will take place on a Monday uh, or the first business day of the week and the trial itself will be conducted on some other day or at least that's typical. Um, and so you will not only have to take all of Monday off but it's also uh, almost certain that you will not know until Monday what the day of the trial will be. They won't tell you that until you've been uh, picked uh, as uh, somebody to go up into the room to participate in the voir dire process. Um, so you'll be given an opportunity to call people to do scheduling and things like that. Uh, if you are picked for the jury, they will uh, confiscate your cell phones uh, while you're in there and you are allowed to take notes. But again, typically the court is going to um, be in charge of those things. So hopefully uh, this has uh, worked to calm your nerves if you received one of these cards. Thank you and good luck.